Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sword for me Today we have another banger for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the best possible settings you can get for Apex Legends Season 19. These will probably be the settings that I use going forward. These will improve your aim. They'll increase your FPS. We have the best keybinds for mouse and keyboard and just overall how to increase your visibility and visual clarity within the game. We're going to be going over all of the settings in game, NVIDIA control panel, auto exec, video config, and profile. These settings will be the best settings for you you to just have a overall FPS increase as well as reduce your input delay. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to go with the compact interact style compared to default. The reason we want compact is because when you're hovering over items and such, it will have a smaller on screen HUD as opposed to default where it'll take up a lot of your screen. Button hints, we want to have off um, just so we don't have. Well, I guess this is personal preference, but I have this off. It will show hints under each of your abilities. So your healing, your ultimate, your Q or your tactical ability, rather your um, your survival slot, your grenades, etc. Um, I have that off just because I know what my my binds are and it looks a little bit cleaner personally crosshair damage feedback we want to have that off damage numbers this is personal preference i have this set to stacking personally but some people have them set to floating or both i keep it at stacking ping opacity we want that on faded uh just so it's not full ping you can see through it obituaries we want that on uh it'll show you know the obituaries for player kills and deaths uh, minimap rotation we want that on weapon auto cycle on empty i have that on as well this is again personal preference if you don't want your gun to swap after you run out of ammo then you know you can keep that off auto sprint i have this on this is also personal preference um i have never been able to turn this off in my four and a half thousand hours of playing the game it just completely ruins the way i play it so um if you've been running auto sprint for a while or not running auto sprint um try it or try without it, uh, whatever you like. Double tap sprint I have off just because I use auto sprint. It's not necessary for me to use. Jetpack control I have that set to hold. This is specifically for Valkyrie, but uh, for mouse and keyboard players, we want to have that on hold just so we're not uh, flying when we don't mean to, especially with scroll wheel. Incoming damage feedback, I have this set to 2D. Taking damage closes death box or crafting menu. You definitely want this off. Um, this setting essentially makes it to where if you're open or like you're in a death box and you get shot, it will immediately close that menu, um, which for people who are trying to armor swap or grab armor, that is extremely inconvenient and can probably lose you the fight. Off screen portraits, I have this on just so um, we can see, you know, I can see my teammates portraits and what direction they're in. Hop up, pop up, we have that set to off. We do not want hop up, pop up on. That setting simply makes it to where when you grab a hop up it'll show you and tell you what it does in the bottom right of your screen streamer mode i have this set to off but if you're someone who struggles with seeing names in the kill feed and knowing those names and getting anxious or afraid um, you can have that turned on to where it's everyone's in streamer mode you can't tell who is who anonymous mode this is personal preference i have this on this is mainly for streamers who are trying not to get targeted or those who don't want their name to be seen until they leave usage sharing i have that disabled performance display i have that on um, anyone who has this off either doesn't want to see their FPS, is hiding a super glide config, or is trying to avoid getting stream sniped, which is entirely respectable. But if you super glide config, stop. Learn how to do it yourself. Club invites, I have those disabled. Communication filter, we have that set to everybody. Um, you know, I want to be able to talk to my teammates. Reticle, this is a custom reticle color that I have that'll be in the auto exec in the description if you guys want to grab that. We'll be talking about that later in the video. And laser sight, I have that set to a yellow color 210-190-17, just my personal preference. All these settings down here, Tritonopia colorblind mode, no subtitles because that's way too much visual clutter. Subtitle size, normal. Enable accessible chat features, off. Convert incoming voice to text chat, off. You definitely don't want that and play incoming text chat as speech off. You definitely don't want that either. Now, those are gonna be the best settings for you to have on your gameplay tab, just to overall uh, make your game experience better on the game. Now, moving on, we're gonna go over to mouse and keyboard. I guess we'll start off at the top at sensitivity. This is entirely personal preference and what you're comfortable with, but as of lately, I've been playing 0 0.86, 1600 DPI with a 1 1.0 ADS and then a per optic gradually getting faster as you go up. Um, just to try and, you know, even out the uh, the speed so that it feels relatively consistent throughout. Mouse acceleration, you want that off for sure. Mouse invert, you want that off. Plant mouse cursor to game window, I have it off, but for some people it works with on. It just makes it to where your cursor can't leave your game, which can be really annoying with some scenarios, especially if you have two monitors. Lighting effects, I have that off as well. And then all of my key binds, we will get into. Um, most of them are default, aside from the scroll wheel up tap strafe and the scroll wheel down um, jump. Um, the only other binds that I have that really aren't default are left shift walk, which I'll get into in a little bit, as well as inspect weapon on mouse button five and push to talk on mouse button four. Otherwise, 
everything is pretty much um pretty much default settings you know i have the toggle crouch set to c for my super glides and then uh hold to crouch on left control which those are really the only ones that make a difference in in uh in apex but I have my uh, my weapon slots to one and two, and then holster weapons to three, so I can pull my kunai out, grenade with G, um, survival item to left alt, etc. Now I'm not a controller player, but I do have some pretty fun ALCs. If you guys want to try these out, um, zero percent dead zone, one percent outer threshold, five percent response curve with 500, 500, which is as fast as you can go for yaw speed, but it is pretty fun to play if you ask me. Still has decent aim assist, but like I said, I'm not a controller player. Um, ADS yaw speed, pitch speed, 180, 185. This, these were settings that I turned on when I was messing around with a Steam config a uh, while ago. They're actually pretty solid settings in terms of moving around and being able to uh, like like do things and not you know turn like a turtle, you know? You know, like I said, I'm not a huge controller player. I haven't been on Apex really ever. I am a diehard mouse and keyboard player, so I don't have a lot of insight on controller. Video settings though, this is this is the end all be all in terms of uh, Apex settings trying to you know optimize this um i play in full screen exclusive this is definitely the way to go this is how you have the lowest input delay when you're playing the game aspect ratio i play at 16 10 stretched personally a lot of people will play native which will be your um your standard monitor resolution most people play on a 1080p or 1440p monitor um the resolution that i play at is 1728 by 1080 which is a custom res but that is a custom res through custom resolution utility or cru um, as well as the nvidia control panel you can have a custom resolution in there as well but i highly recommend recommend uh, looking up a tutorial on how to use CRU as that is the proper display scaling. Brightness we have set to 60%. This is personal preference based on how bright you like the game. The lower your brightness is, the more contrast there will be. So it makes it a little bit easier to see people, but can also make it harder if it's too dark. So just kind of play around with settings or the brightness settings, but I have it set to 60 personally. FOV. Um, this is one that's kind of accurate, but inaccurate. Um, I play at 120 FOV, which is not a setting that you can have in Apex. So if you're playing at 110 um, and want to play at 120, my auto exec will give you 120 FOV, but 110 FOV is also just as good. It doesn't make too much of a difference. You'll actually get slightly less FPS on 120, but it is uh, much better in terms of visual clarity and being able to see who you're shooting. My FOV ability scaling, we have that set to disabled because I play at 120 FOV, so it stays consistent no matter what. Um, and then sprint view shake, we have that set to minimal, so there's less screen shake overall uh, when you're moving. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to tell what's going on. Now V-Sync, we have that disabled. Video Reflex enabled plus boost. Um, with some higher end PCs, you'll want that set to enable as opposed to plus boost. I have, I've been running it as plus boost and it's been pretty solid. Adaptive resolution FPS target, you want that set to zero. Um, definitely do not want to have an FPS target on this because it will limit it and you don't want that. Anti-aliasing, I've actually been preferring to run anti-aliasing just in terms of visual clarity. I'm able to kind of see things without them turning pixelated at a distance. So I've been enjoying this actually personally. Um, but it will hurt your FPS. So play around with it off and on, see what you prefer. I will say there is a bug currently in the game with the LTM three strikes that is forcing anti-aliasing to be turned on. So just be on the lookout for that. Texture streaming budget, I have this set to none. If you don't plan on using my auto exec or video config, set this to two gigabytes of VRAM. But if you're gonna use mine, it's gonna show none, but it's not gonna be potato quality. So just be ready for that. We will talk about that later in the video. Texture filtering, we have that set to bilinear, ambient occlusion quality, and every setting for that matter. Moving on, we have that set to the lowest possible um, just to get the most FPS out of our, our PC. And that's gonna be everything for the Apex settings. Um, we have, you know, I've been an Apex player for a long time and I've used a lot of these settings over the course of um, thousands of hours playing the game. And some of them have been changed um, just to, you know, fine tweak those optimizations. So these are what I found to be the best over the course of, you know, my time playing the game, as well as getting my PC optimized from a couple of people. And especially one that I recently got them optimized with, who I will talk about later in the video if you guys are interested in getting your PC optimized. Without further ado, let's move on to the files of the game. Uh, we'll be talking about the auto exec, uh, the profile, video config, and settings. All right, so starting off on our desktop here, we are gonna go ahead and open our file explorer. Now, if you have your game on your SSD and it's on your main hard drive, if you're playing on EA, you're gonna go to program files, EA games, Apex. And if you're on Steam, you're gonna go program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Apex Legends, and CFG. Now, for me personally, I play on Origin, so I'm gonna go over to my Origin folder. 
and I'm going to open the CFG tab and that's where we have our auto exec.cfg. If you do not have one of these, then it will just say client. There won't be an auto exec in here. But after this video, you should have my auto exec, which will make your game run better. I won't go through every single setting in this, but there are plenty of settings that make your game run significantly better in terms of visual clarity and just overall FPS and latency increases here. There is a ton of settings. This is the most that I've ever seen in an auto exec personally. Um, so I highly recommend using this in terms of, um, and some of them actually have explanations as to what, you know, makes things better or worse, you know, I highly recommend using this auto exec. It is one of the best auto execs that I've ever used. Um, one of the most important things to take away from this auto exec is the stream memory 100,000 and map pick mic four. Um, these have to follow from your video config and your auto exec. They have to match. So just make sure it's a hundred thousand and four. The 100,000 uh, line here is what makes me have a in-between setting with texture streaming budget be where I'm between none and two gigabytes of VRAM and it still doesn't look like a potato. It's definitely the best way to uh, to have a setting for that. Now, moving on from the auto exec, you don't need to be in your Apex settings anymore, but what you do need to do is either go to your search bar and type in saved games, which for me, I can't do this because I have indexing turned off from my optimizations, so it won't pop up for me. So for those who can't search it, you go to this PC, local disk, users, your user, and then saved games, respawn, apex, and then local. And then we have video config and settings. Our video config is gonna be the most important right now. And that's where we have that stream memory and mat pick MIP set to four and 100,000 as well as having your default res. So if you have that 1728 res, I would highly recommend using that as your default res here, as well as your 1080 for res height, and then one for full screen. Otherwise, like I said, you guys can just paste these settings and these um, these files in here. There are, gonna, there are gonna be some that you want set to read only, but I actually haven't been setting mine to read only here lately, and I've been perfectly fine. So. Um, settings, this is going to be mostly my binds. If you guys want my binds, I will put them in the description as well. One of the main ones to keep in mind here is that I have my left shift set to plus walk, which is where I'm not sprinting and it's a force walk instead of because I have auto sprint enabled, it'll make it to where I'm just walking instead of sprinting. But that's one of the main ones as well as F keys that will cap my FPS. These are the main ones that I use F6 through F9 at 144, 165, 180, and 240. I actually have uh, been deleting this out of my auto exec and I actually didn't know they were even in here. But these are the main ones that I use just so I can change my FPS based on how my computer's running at the time um, and then you have your f12 bind for um, executing your auto exec so that if it's for some reason didn't execute or you change a setting to make your 120 fov go away you can hit f12 and it will bring it back moving on we're going to go back into the apex folder go into profile and open profile.cfg um, this is another important file to have now there is one very key takeaway to this in that it has the 120 fov as well as all of my um like profile settings so none of these are particularly super important but you can replace this if you would like to i do recommend it you know i have my reticle color in here there's some uh different sensitivity settings in here so if you like want my uh, my ads sensitivities this is one that would help you with that as well as my reticle color as well but that's in my in my auto exec so less important for profile you guys don't have to do this one if you don't want to but um if you do want to there are some settings that will make things run a little bit better so that's going to be all in terms of the actual files for the video. We're now going to go to our NVIDIA control panel. The These settings are specifically going to be for those who have NVIDIA graphics cards. So if you have an AMD graphics card, I do apologize. I will not have settings for you guys. Um, but where we're going to go is manage 3D settings up here at the top. Go to program settings. And then we're going to click add if you guys don't have R5 Apex already here. And then we're going to go to browse and we're going to find that file location where we were going into the CFG folder and we're going to find r5apex.exe and open that since mine is already open I won't open it again but in terms of the settings we have all of these here um, if you want to pause or slow the video down while I go through these feel free there are a lot of settings that get turned off so that the game will run better and have better input latency so I highly recommend following these settings so image scaling we have set to off anisotropic filtering we set to off um, FXAA off, gamma correction off, mode off, um, application max frame rate off, CUDA GPUs all, 
fallback policy, driver default, latency mode, ultra, max frame rate off, modern technology, fixed refresh, sampled AA off, open GDI compatibility, auto, rendering GPU, whatever your graphics card is, power management mode. This is dependent on what your power management settings are, but usually prefer maximum performance is where you'd want to be. Uh, refresh rate, highest available, uh, sampling options on, LOD bias, allow quality, high performance, trilinear optimization on, threaded optimization auto, triple buffering, buffering, well, buffering, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and pre-rendered frames one, pres uh, OpenGL present method auto. So those are the main settings that you want to have for your 3D settings for your overall Apex. Um, now, if you want my global settings for my PC, um, it's pretty similar in terms of just overall settings. Um, they're pretty much the same if you want to set them up, um, but you can kind of just follow through the settings here and take a look and pause if you'd like to for my my global settings. But like I said, they're pretty much the exact same as what my Apex settings are. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video, everyone. That Those are my settings that I've been running here for the last couple of weeks or so. And I got to say that my Apex has never really ran better. Now, that is also because I had my computer optimized by the boy Shin Raiju. If you guys don't know who he is, he has recently opened a optimization shop. So he has been optimizing a lot of the, uh, the, a lot of the homies PCs um, like Lumi, Exkesia, and multiple other people. Um, he has my vouch, he has Bandit's vouch as well. If you guys do not know who he is and you're looking to get your PC optimized for a pretty good price, Make sure to hit him up. I will have all of his links down in the description. It takes a couple of hours, an hour or two or three, depending on you know how much you do and what you pay for. But his optimization service is definitely one I would look into if you guys want your PC to be running better or you feel like you could just overall use a, uh, a tune up with your computer. But that's gonna be all for today's video, everyone. I appreciate you guys for stopping by and uh, watching the settings video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe. I will be making more videos like this in the future. I know I've only been uploading gameplays here lately, and uh, I would like to get you guys more involved as a community, as well as just helping you guys improve and getting better at the game overall. So I appreciate you guys. Drop a like and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace out.